Hello and welcome to Chair Yoga. Hopefully this video is finding you healthy and well. Uh, but if you're like me, you may be in need of a little bit of movement. So we'll get some good stretches in. We'll focus in on grounding and also some self-care. So with that being said, grab a chair if you don't already have one, preferably without arms. And maybe a glass of water. We'll be here for about 30 minutes, so get ready to just settle in and enjoy. With that being said, let's go ahead and plant our feet into the floor. And we'll just push the balls of our feet into the floor. As we do that, lift your toes up nice and high. And then spread them apart as far as you can. And then just gently place them back down into the earth. So take a big breath in and a big out. And we'll do that one more time. Big breath in. Exhale. Good. Go ahead and either close your eyes or come to a soft gaze, whichever is best for you. We'll bring our hands down to our side and roll our shoulders all the way up, back, and down. And go ahead and bring your hands to your belly today. And just notice your breath. So as we start to move into our practice of self-care, go inward and start to just notice. Notice how your body feels today. Are there any areas that might need a little extra love and attention? Are there any areas that are feeling actually really great today? Just notice. Feel your belly as it rises on the inhale. Notice how your belly softens as you exhale. And focus that breath. As you breathe in nice and slow through your nose, feel how your fingertips come away from each other just a little bit. And then as you exhale, notice how those fingers come in closer together. Just notice. Not changing anything just yet. And then we can bring the palms of our hands down into our thighs today, working on that grounding here. Just feeling the connection with our hands into our thighs. Feeling our feet firmly in the ground. Feeling the weight of our body support, supported by our chair as we are seated. Now we'll change our breath just a little. We'll take nice long breaths in through our nose. Pause just for a moment or two. And then match the exhale as we slowly breathe out our nose. we slow our breath down, we begin to relax a little bit more into our bodies. So just feel your shoulders melting away from your ears. Feel your fingers as they start to relax in your thighs. Allow your low body to just relax and settle into your chair. Let's breathe. And as we slow our bodies down with our breath, let's start to go inward, even deeper now, going into our mind, slowing all our thoughts down, quieting our mind, trying not to think of anything in particular. And as we slow our mind and our body down, let's set an intention for our practice today. A reason why we are here. Maybe it's just something that we can focus on. 
throughout our practice, but maybe it's an intention we'd like to set for the day, for the week. So as we take those long breaths in and out, start to focus in on that intention. Envision it in your mind. And we'll take three more long breaths just like this. Relax your face and your jaw as you take this last breath in. And slow exhale out. And we can bring our hands together at heart center now. Plugging the backs of our thumbs into our heartbeat. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Gently bowing your chin to your chest. Allow your eyes to slowly flutter open. And we'll bring our eyes back to center. Slowly looking towards the sky, relaxing your face and your jaw, making sure that we still can breathe so we don't want to take our neck back so far, or our head back so far that we're closing that throat off. And bring your eyes back to center. Let's drop our right ear towards our right shoulder. Slowly coming through center and all the way right ear, or left ear to left shoulder. And we'll make our way back to center. Pulling the hands away from our heart. Let's interlace our fingers. Gently push the palms of your hands forward. So not pushing into your fingers, but pushing the palms forward. Gently round through your upper back. Let your chin tuck towards your chest. As we take this next big breath in, reach the arms all the way up overhead. Eyes look to the back of your hands. Inhale as we round forward, pushing the palms of our hands away. And exhale as we look all the way up. Little seated cat cow here. Let's round through our upper back one last time. Exhale. This time as we come up, Let's do a little mini back bend, coming back a little bit further, not pushing our bellies forward, keeping your spine nice and tall. Lead with your heart as it goes up towards the sky. Good, and then we'll come back to center, releasing those hands all the way down. Start to roll your shoulders back a few times. Oh, it should feel so nice. And forward. Good. From here, we'll take our hands to our thighs and then sweep those hands forward just a little towards your knees and we'll start to make some big circles here. Remembering to listen to your body throughout our practice today. If something doesn't feel right, please back out of it. We want to feel good here. Good. And reverse. So make that circle a little smaller if you need to or a little bit bigger. Really starting to wake up your hips. We'll take one more big circle around and meet back into center. Good, we'll sit up nice and tall, lengthening through the crown of your head towards the sky. That spine is stacked nice and tall. Bring your hands down to your side. On this next big breath in, let's sweep that right arm all the way up and we'll fold to the left on our exhale. Inhale to come all the way back to center. Exhale, let's hold here in mountain pose. Inhale as we lift that left arm up, and as we exhale, we'll just fold to the right. Good. Inhale all the way up. Exhale to hold in mountain. Reach both arms overhead. We'll take the palms of our hands forward, and moving with that breath, as we inhale, we'll bend our elbows into our cactus arms. Exhale to reach for the sky. Let's do this three more times. Big breath in. Exhale up. Good job, inhale and exhale. Really spread your fingers wide. Last time to inhale 
and exhale. Good. From here, we'll sweep our hands down into the back of our chair. Roll your shoulders down your back. Big chest expansion here. Start to hinge forward. Now we can keep our hands low on our chair or we can walk them up a little bit higher. Wherever we are, let's try to squeeze the shoulder blades towards one another. Again, try not to focus on pushing your chest forward. Rather, let's squeeze our shoulder blades together. Good. We'll start to sit up nice and tall, coming into a gentle twist. So here's another place to watch your body. If something doesn't feel right, just come right back to where we are here into our seated mountain. Perfect option. So let's, uh, as I said, come into the twist. We'll take our left hand to our right thigh. Sweep that right hand to the chair behind you. We want to grab a little low here, not try to come up high so that that shoulder comes up towards our ears. Low on that chair. Take a big breath in and lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, maybe we stay here, maybe we go a little deeper. Twisting from our hips, then our shoulders and our eyes can gently follow. We'll hold here for one breath, in and an exhale out. And on this next breath, sweep that back arm all the way up and over to the opposite knee. Round through your upper back, gently checking in here with your upper back, feeling it rounded. We're going to roll your shoulders down your back. And then we'll take a big breath and look to the sky. Here's where we come in with that self-love. Exhale, give yourself a big hug. Oh, maybe it's been a while since anyone gave you a hug, so give yourself one. Oh, feels great. Release those hands down, we'll twist to the other side. So our right hand comes to the outside of that left thigh, left hand sweeps behind you again. Maybe this is where we stay. Maybe we can go a little deeper. Either way, let's inhale and lengthen through our spine. Exhale to either stay here or to start to twist from hips. Shoulders and our eyes can just gently follow. We'll hold for one breath. In. And a big exhale out. Now sweep that back arm all the way up and over to the opposite knee as we round through that upper back. Release your shoulders down to your back. Gently tucking your chin to your chest. Big breath in, open up wide, looking to the sky. Big heart opener. Exhale, give yourself a hug. Still should feel nice. All right, from here, let's go ahead and release those hands down. We'll pull up that right knee and a little general rounding here. Pulling the knee up trying to round through our upper back, bringing our forehead towards our knee. And then we'll sit up nice and tall so our arms are straight. And let's just straighten that leg out, flex through your foot, and bend the knee. Now your leg doesn't have to come up as high as mine. If it's easier for you to release this leg, and then just straighten and bend, feel free. We'll do one more just like that. Out and in good release that we'll do the same thing on the other side pulling that knee up sit up tall first then we'll start to round through our upper back trying to touch our forehead to our knee and we'll sit up nice and tall so our arms are straight let's just take that leg out and in straighten and bend and one more time to straighten and bend. Good, release that foot down. So now we're gonna take our legs nice and wide, as wide as you can go. Um, and then we'll sit up nice and tall. So for this next round, we're gonna come into a forward fold, but if you've got anything going on where we need to keep our head above our heart, let's come right here to a little um, extended child's pose, I'll call it. Um, if we want to go a little bit lower, we can come into child's pose with our forearms on our thighs and our palms in towards one another. And if you can go even deeper, let's take it into a full forward fold here. So hands come down to the ground and then just let the crown of your head melt towards the earth. Relax your head. Now we don't want to get dizzy here again. So it is okay to stay in our child's pose. 
But if you can just rest here, letting your head hang heavy, we'll slowly make our way all the way back up. So let's take our right hand to our right thigh and our left hand to our left thigh. A little halfway lift here. And then start to straighten your arms nice and slow, stopping about halfway. And then we'll make our way all the way back up to center. Good. From here, let's take our hands to the inside of our thigh and just drop our right shoulder toward, oh no, our left shoulder towards our right knee. It wouldn't be the same if I knew right from left. So hopefully you all got a chuckle on that. All right, let's make our way back up to center, dropping our left shoulder, no, our right shoulder to our left knee. Ay, ay, ay. All right, making our way back up to center. Let's bring those legs in. And then from here, we're gonna stand it on up. But in order to stand up, we're gonna come through chair first. So slot on back in your chair. And with chair pose, we can either take our hands to our thigh, or to our heart center, but if we need to take our hands to our thighs, feel free to do that as well. With chair pose, that's where we come and we hover right above the chair. So bringing our hands to heart center, roll your shoulders down your back, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, start to make our way into chair pose. So our hips are reaching for the seat of our chair. We're just gonna hold here for one more breath keeping your belly pulled in tight. And then as you exhale, slowly make your way back up to standing, standing mountain. Good, big breath in, reach those arms overhead, a little mini back bend, leading with our heart as it goes towards the sky. And then we'll release our hands down to our sides. Good, let's come into um, a nice big warrior pose to feel some strength and grounding again. And then we'll do a tree pose for our last grounding pose before we make our way back down to our chair. So let's find our way behind our chairs here. Rolling our shoulders down our back, we'll start to take our feet a little bit wider than hip distance or as wide as you, can, you feel comfortable. We'll take our right toes and bring them out to the side and then our left toes are gonna come in at an angle like we're pigeon toed. We want to make sure that we can keep our hips and our shoulders square forward and then we'll bend into that front knee. So check in with that front knee. We want to make sure that it's right above our ankle. Well, maybe we need to shorten our base or widen our stance. Again, your choice. But remember when we do our warrior two pose that we want to be strong and grounded so our feet are really rooted into the ground. Our hips and our shoulders are stacked on top of each other. So we can stay here with our hands on the chair if we need to, or we can take our right arm out and our left arm out. So if we have our arms out, we're looking over our right fingers, looking right over those fingertips. Feeling rooted in the present moment, knowing we're exactly where we need, we need to be. We're staying home. We're washing our hands. This is where we're meant to be. Not worrying about the past, can't change it. Not worrying about the future, nothing we can do about it right now, but right now we're grounded in the present moment. So let's take three breaths here in our warrior two and quiet your mind. Try not to think of anything in particular, just quiet your mind. Maybe coming back to that intention that we set at the beginning of our practice. Let's take one more breath. Good, we'll straighten that front leg, release your hands down, looking forward. Now we'll take our right toes forward and then at an angle. So we're standing pigeon toed here. And then we'll just slide those left, or rotate those left toes out to the side, bending into our left knee. Again, we wanna take our hips and our shoulders, make sure they're square forward, right in line with that chair. And then we can reach our left arm forward and our right arm behind. Again, holding onto that chair if you need to. And then let's rotate our eyes, our head so that our eyes are looking right over our front fingers. Again, quiet your mind. Come back to that intention. 
And we'll hold here for three breaths. Good, let's slowly start to straighten that front leg. Release your hands down. We can bring our eyes back towards the chair and then turn both toes in so we're pigeon-toed again and we'll start to heel toe those feet in. Good, roll your shoulders down your back. We're coming into tree pose, another really grounding pose. Uh, with tree pose, let's find our drishti point, something to focus on. Keep your shoulders down your back, belly's pulling tight, hands can either come together at heart center or holding onto the back of your chair, whichever is best for you. And then we'll just shift our weight onto our left foot. Let our right toes come into the ground and open the knee wide. I'm going to move the chair just so you can see. So we can take that heel and kickstand it right above our ankle. And then check in with the, the hips. Stack in the hips. Make sure that they're not sassy. So tuck them under. And again, maybe we'll stay here. But find that focus. Slow your breath. And when you're ready, we can grow our tree by maybe sliding our foot up, just making sure that that foot doesn't land on a joint and growing our tree however it wants to grow today. We'll hold here for three breaths. Relax your shoulders. Feel your foot rooted and grounded into the earth. Making that connection. And we'll start to come all the way back down. Good, hands together, heart center. Slide your weight or shift your weight now over into that right foot. Left toes come into the ground. We'll let the knee open wide. Heels can either kickstand above that ankle. Either way, make sure that we lengthen through our spine. Tuck that hip under and when you're ready, Grow your tree however it wants to grow. Move your arms. Find that focus. Breathe. Quiet your mind. Maybe returning to your intention. No judgment, no worry. Good, we'll release that down, bringing our hands back through the heart center. So let's take in one last breath as we're standing. Inhale, big, coming into our mountain little mini back bend. Palm to touch as we exhale our hands down through heart center. All right, well, we're making our way back down to our chair. So find your seat. Settle on it. Coming into the best part of the whole class, our little bit of the Shavasana. So we'll take our hands down to our side, start to roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Just a few times. Good, we'll let our hands come into our thighs. Let's do a quick little neck stretch before we make our way into Shavasana. So gently tucking our chin down towards our chest. We'll take a big breath in. And as we exhale, bring our eyes slowly to center. And as we inhale, look towards the sky, relaxing through your face and your jaw. And make our way back to center. Let's look to the right. And slowly come through to center as we look to the left. Making our way back to center, we'll drop our right ear towards our right shoulder. Through to center, and last stretch, dropping our left ear to our left shoulder as we come all the way back to center. We did a great job today, but we're not done yet. So the best part of the whole class are Shavasana. So get comfy in your chair, maybe slide on back so that you can be supported here. Just make sure that wherever you're at, you're not slouching. We really want to keep that spine nice and long so that we can keep the energy flowing in uh, our spine. So we can nourish our minds and just nourish our hips. 
little self-love time. So go ahead and close your eyes or come to a soft gaze. Once again, whatever feels best for you. And I know this is a grounding practice, but maybe you're feeling pretty grounded um, and you'd like to flip your palms to the sky. So bringing in all that positive energy from around you. And maybe as we're using this as a grounding practice, we can let go of anything that no longer serves us through our hands today. Or we can flip the palms towards our thighs, just really feeling grounded and rooted and connected with our bodies. Wherever you're at, start to focus back in on your breath. Not changing anything yet, just slowing everything down. Bringing that awareness back into your body. How does your body feel now that we moved a little, we grounded a little? Can you feel that energy flowing up and down your spine? Now one last time, let's come back to our intention that we set. Start to slow your breath down as you really focus in on that intention. Then let go of all thoughts. Feel your body supported in your chair once again. Feel your feet as they relax and ground into the floor into the earth. Let your legs relax. Your ankle joints, your knee joints, just let them relax. See if you're holding any tension in your glutes, your lower back. See if you can release let go. And feel your hands and your fingers heavy in your thighs. And as your hands are heavy in your thighs, feel your shoulders just melting away from your ears. Feel your ribs as they open nice and big on that. Inhale. Feel your rib cage softening as you exhale. Let your belly rise and fall. Release any tension you may be holding in your neck, your throat, and clench your jaw. Soften your cheek and the space between your eyes and quiet your mind. Just breathe. You can stay here in this moment as long as you need. And when you're ready, whenever you're ready, you can gently start to wiggle your toes and your fingers and bring your hands together at heart center. Gently bow your chin down towards your chest in gratitude. And then pay yourself a little compliment it may have taken a lot for you to come to this moment, to your practice, so thank yourself. Give yourself a nice compliment. And when you're ready, let's slowly flutter our eyes open as we bring our eyes back to center. Let's take one last big breath together. We'll open our, now, our, <laughs> we'll open our mouth as we exhale, yes, but we'll inhale deep through our nose. So let's take a big breath in through our nose, open your mouth, exhale with the biggest sigh that you have and you just leave it all here. We 
remember to be kind, not only to others, but to yourself as well, especially during these uncharted territory um, of our days. So be kind to yourself. Everything is new. There's no reason to be hard on yourself. And may the sky above and the earth below bring peace into your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel a little bit better and hopefully we'll be seeing you again real soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.